It's never late to change career, right? Become a Xiaopan employee. In this video, I will take you inside Xpeng's brand new headquarters, showcase their latest flying car technology, give you a sneak peek into employee work conditions, introduce your new plug-in X9 hybrid, and of course meet Ira, unbelievable humanoid robot. Let's go inside and see what Xiaopan has there. Stay here, I can see the big ambition of Xiaopan to be AI company. This is quite cool. The boss will change the position to make the shape of the car. Every time it's a different car. A patent wall of Hu Xiaopeng. This is one of the coolest rooms in the whole tour, basically. We have, starting from this one, PXO, the first robot dog, which now is in every shopping mall in Shanghai. And then we have a bigger one, like PX2, Shabai Long, <laughs> I guess. And there is a, the same with 1.0, 2.0, and then there is robot over there, which we haven't seen working yet. This one we just seen walking and giving us a tour. It looks just like a human. It has eyes, it has ears, and it can perceive the information around and process it and act as a human. I remember last year, Xiaopan promised that one day we can get this robot for around 30,000 RMB and it can help us at home to wash, clean, take care of our kids and walk the pets. Hopefully our pets won't be like that. And this is the end of our tour. We finished with the oversized Xiaopan steering wheel which does absolutely nothing. Welcome to Air Ridge, the flying car company, which is under Xiaopeng. So here I want to introduce you three main steps which the company is aiming to take in order to bring the mobility of flying to us regular people. So the first one is the land aircraft carrier model flying car. The second step gonna be a high speed long range uh, tilt rotor flying car. The third step gonna be like uh, EV tow flying car. Here we have the first step implemented in the real world. Aircraft carrier aka the mother car and this is the baby, the oversized drone which you can put two people or one large person just to fly around. Uh, it can fly for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's basically just like a drone, but for you to sit inside of it. And that is the second step of the mobility plan. It's a, like a quadrocopter or something like that, which can take you from point one to point B uh, in different cities. So I think it can fly for about three to 400 kilometers. It looks really futuristic. It looks super cool. How do you guys think? And this one is the future. Carbon fire, fiber everywhere huge propellers, everything can fold inside and then you drive it as a regular car. If you want to fly, press the button, all the propellers comes out and you fly. Looks so cool, but I'm not sure it will ever be on the roads. This thing called Traveler 1.0 and it kind of designed for you to fly around. We have two joysticks, like a computer game with different buttons here from one to, to, to five. And there is a small screen, aka iPad. I don't know, it feels small, but I could fit in. Let's take off. If you work in Xiaopeng in China, you're gonna have your personal post office just directly in the company. You have a laundry room where somebody, or maybe yourself can wash your stuff and you have whole sports center. Let's go take a look. It's a freaking fitness club with a personal trainers, which is provided for Xiaopan company for free. And look at this, pool, foosball, table tennis, whatever you like. It's never late to change career, right? Become an 
Xiaopan employee. Now we're in the coffee shop in uh, Xiaopan headquarters. So we have these two badges which we can use to purchase our coffee. And let's try. They have like five, six different kinds. Uh, Wow, this is so advanced. Just touch and pay. Thank you, Xiaopan. Xiaopan Canteen is quite interesting. Here you have plenty of restaurants around. Who's saying that you can use your card to pay for everything? So it's extremely convenient for Xiaopan employees. You don't need to carry cash or even use Alipay or WeChat. Company can directly transfer money to your card and then you use it for everything inside the campus. After the tour, lunch, and so many different things, finally we are here in Xiaopan AI Day. Behind me, there is a whole lineup of Xiaopan cars. Let me show you around, guys. Xiaopan prepared really cool example for us. They cut the car into the half to let us see how does it look from inside, from engineering perspective. So as you can see, we have the uh, small battery because this is extended range EV, so we have a small battery and we have also the engine inside, right, to generate power. We have a tank, uh, uh, the rear motor, the front motor. The cool thing about this car is that all six seats can be moved and it's the first time in the industry where you can redefine your space by your necessity, by your need. Twenty twenty five AI Day just finished and it was something, guys. First of all, second generation of VLA, which will help cars to understand the surroundings much better and much easier. Go through narrow roads, go through places where normally even seasoned drivers struggling. Second one, the robot taxi, which is coming next year. It is so close. And Robocars. From next year, from 2026, Xiaopan's new cars will come with robot additions. So this is not a robot taxi yet, but it's an addition to help the uh, driver to experience the newest rollout of AI and uh, robotic L3, L4 level of self-driving. Then, very exciting, the second generation of Iron Robot. Now you can choose a male robot or female robot. You can dress up your robot and make sure that this robot is customizable. For now, they explain that commercialization will go mostly through their own shops and stores, but hopefully in the future, the robots can do more. And the last, and not, not least, are the flying cars. Before we had the robo carrier, which I showed you earlier, but now we also have a long range flying quadrocopter, I guess, like a flying vehicle, which can fly in low altitude up to 600 kilometers. Now we have a new low altitude vehicle, which can fly up to 450 kilometers. Again, this one is just a projection for the future because it needs a special takeoff and landing place and it also needs a license. However, they promise that from next year, first quarter, people already can start learning how to be a pilot for the uh, small uh, copter, which will be developed from the mother carrier, basically driven all around just like a normal car. So looking forward to the next quarter, it was a very exciting day and let's see how it will turn out in the future.